the most important keyboard shortcut you will ever learn for Pro Tools. Now, it's not a fancy shortcut. It's not going to make your mix sound any better. In fact, you won't really see much happening on screen at all. Can you guess what it is? It's Control S or Command S on Mac. That's right. Save, 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 save. It doesn't matter if you come up to setup, preferences, operation, and you have your auto backup set to three minutes or five minutes. A lot can happen in three minutes or five minutes. And if you get a freeze in Pro Tools or a crash of your computer, you may not have that auto backed up and you may have to redo a bunch of work. This is very, very, very important, especially for beginners, because I cannot tell you how much work in the past that I've lost because I just didn't hit control save. And it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or advanced. Control S, Command S on Mac, but always remember control and save. Save, save. After every major change, every major recording, uh, whatever you're doing, automation, MIDI input, recording, mixing, whatever you're doing, maybe coming in here and working with, uh, you know, working with your plugins, changing parameters. There's no reason to not get this down to muscle memory. So whenever you make a change, a major change, control S. It's very simple. Whenever you make several minor changes, control S. Always remember that control S, the most important shortcut in Pro Tools that you will ever learn. Alternatively, of course, you could always come up to file and just choose save. That's command S on Mac. Control save, command save, control save, command S on Mac, control S on Windows. Eventually, you will get a crash of Pro Tools, you will get a crash of your computer, and trust me, you are going to thank me for saving you a bunch of work.